This next song, Tegan introduces every night by saying that it has nothing to do with the title of the song, which, personally, I don't know if that's the branding we need as our band, but... Oh, well, why don't you introduce it as if it's your song? Okay, what would you say? <laughs> well, let me just tell you that when I first heard the song, I thought that it was really funny because the song talked about smoking weed, and I was like, well, we don't really smoke weed that much, but, like, let's lean into it, you know? Um, which isn't to say that we haven't smoked weed, it's just that, like, we grew out of it, you know? Which is not, a, that's not, like, a drag on any of you if you're, like, into it. It just wasn't for me, you know? Like, I'm really into... Well, it wasn't for her now, but, like, for, like, three years straight, she smoked it all through high school every single day, like, a thousand times a day. It's sweet. It's sweet that Tegan makes it seem like that was recent. That was 25 years ago. But, um, yeah, I did a lot of things when I was 15 all the time. <laughs> I don't do those things anymore. Um, but I did go through a brief stage when I moved to Los Angeles where I, talk, where I started taking edibles a lot. And one time, um, one time I, I told the Vancouver audience when someone says edibles, they're like, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't, and I, hey, I just, I just want to say, I'm on your side. I know Te Tegan feels really sensitive and she needs you to meet a lot of her emotional needs. I don't care if you clap for me at all. It makes no difference. On some level, I wish you would just play harder to get. It's, you know, it might help me feel more connected to you in some ways. Um, anyways, I started taking edibles, and by which I mean I took it, you know, whatever, a handful of times in a row, and every time was more miserable the next. And it sort of, like, escalated to the point where I did take edibles one night and thought that I could peel off my skin like a skin suit, and, like, literally just roll the skin off of my skeleton and I just thought, like, this is not working for me as an adult. Um, I already, I already have emotional issues that I don't need um, a small gummy bear smiling at me in a sort of maniacal, sort of smug way. I could just drink a glass of wine, you know? I just, anyways, but this song has nothing to do with edibles or weed. So I kind of like, every night I listen to Tegan introduce the song and I'm like, what the fuck is the song about? You know, like, if it was my song and I was introducing it, what would I say? And I think of this song as this kind of like, the internal argument that happens between every duo. You know, marriage, partnership, whatever the partnership is. And I think it's kind of like that quintessential, um, that, that tension, that conflict that you have. It's you and a gummy bear, it's you and your twin sister, I don't know, but... <laughs> That's, what I, how, that's how I would introduce the song, and, and I don't know what weed has to do with it except to say that it always works to tell a story about someone tripping out on an edible. Everybody loves that. Um, it's sort of like someone who poops themselves at a wedding. Like, everybody loves that. You know? Like, there's just certain trigger points in a... In a Is like, that a common story? Yeah. I don't know anyone who's pooped themselves at a wedding. Well, I guess I know weird people. This song is for Sarah's friends. Smoking weed alone, one in the woods, only wonder if I get me again. I'm running down the street, it's just a dream. The dark and I need to wake up again. The light, yeah, the light in my eyes is dark. And the stars in the sky, they look so dull. I feel the most that I've walked all at enough. And I tried so 
same old street. Wonder what her people make it all again.